No, but even when like somebody say something like about 808s and heartbreaks, yo, nigga, that, my grandfather <laughs> showed me that album, nigga. Damn, <laughs> he got dementia. <laughs> It's over for y'all. It's like, nah. Shout out my grandfather. Yeah, I've been I've been in my locks bag heavy um, lately. I guess even like I think really since way before the verses, like moving to New York, yeah. moving to New York really like got me in engulfed in the the New York culture. So yeah, I'm heavy on my locks and my deep stuff. But it's just wild to see their their turn. Yeah, to go from this to go from robbing people and stabbing people. To selling smoothies. That's how you know they really did it. Yeah. Because niggas exactly that you know. didn't do it, they going to talk about it forever. Right. They going to act like they doing it. But, like, nobody want to do that shit. Niggas nope. want to sell juice. Yeah. yeah. No, that is true. It's like, it gets to a certain point where stabbing niggas every day does get tiresome. You, yeah. do, you do just want to worry about your pro- probiotics. That's a lot of <laughs> tricep extensions. You don't want to do all that. Yeah, but sometimes you do gotta stab a nigga. What's up, y'all? I'd like to thank y'all for tuning in to another episode of the We Want More podcast. I'm your host, Anthony Moore. I'm your co host, Desante Morris. Uh, Maxwell. We got Max in the building. If you're watching on the visual, Pepsi, he knocked out next to me on his blanket that he been chewing in. Bro, it's so many holes in that blanket. Yeah, it looks like a KKK hood now. Yeah, he loves that blanket, though. Like, he ain't fucking around. <laughs> What are we on? We on episode 23. Episode 23. 23. Damn, we moving right along, man. If you listen and stop right now, please be sure to like, follow, subscribe, all that good stuff. Give us five stars on whatever platform you're listening to, whether that be on Apple, Spotify. Um, also, let me do some show announcements. I haven't even been doing that lately. Yeah, I got a few things coming up. I mean, normally throughout the week, I'm usually at a club in the city, whether that be the Comedy Cellar um jersey city december 6th december 6th i'm gonna be in jersey city let me look up the exact details for that the first installment of the got laughs comedy show it's gonna be a good time i mean i want to give let me get the specifics out for that meanwhile i will be at the liquor store trying to haggle a nigga <laughs> to lower the price down on a bottle of hennessy <laughs> Cause I know they think I they think I don't know how much Hennessy's supposed to cost. The golden. It ain't that. <laughs> <laughs> no, sorry, I just. Right. No, Hen- do you like Hennessy? Look at me. <laughs> do I like Hennessy? I'm a nigga in a black hoodie. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I'm uh, I'm in Jersey City, December six at the Golden. Sakata, I'm, I'm, I know I'm fucking that all up. I'm, but if you follow me on Instagram, you'll see the details for that. And then also the big show announcement, December nineteenth, man, December nineteenth. I'm actually fortunate enough to open for Keith Robinson taping his Netflix special. That's um December nineteenth. He's taping that in Manhattan at Sony Hall, which is just wow. It's dope that he's even allowing me to open for that for such a big moment in his career. In life and Yeah that, that's fire That's like Give yourself a round of applause Pat yeah. yourself on the back Knowing how much Keith not only means To Philly comedy But just comedy in general Yeah, yeah. So he's doing two shows Um, One at the first I think he's doing two shows One at seven One at nine thirty I do got I mean I got shit But I, them niggas don't pay me enough To promote <laughs> their shit So my, my homie ben, Benny Feldman Got a show I'm doing Union Hall In like December 2nd no, I do feel you on that. I, I feel you, like I'll promote this because I fuck with him and his shit in that spot. But but yeah, other shit. I'm mad I even promoted one spot because they they them niggas owe me some money. <laughs> I might have to take. Them, I might have to bleep them. Yeah, bleep that shit out, man. <laughs> fuck all that free promotion shit. Promoting and I get some drink tickets. But what's going on, man? Um, Thanksgiving coming up. Yeah. Thanksgiving coming up this week. You got any plans? I'm going to go see some family, eat some food, Yeah, take the food, let it expire in the fridge, and yeah. then still eat it. Yeah, I'm going to try to make a few stops. I'm gonna, um, My mom is cooking, so my mom is cooking. Even though, like, my mom is Muslim, you know, I still got to still throw my Christian guilt on her. Get her to... <laughs> what do Muslims cook on Thanksgiving? Um, I don't know. Turkey? <laughs> I mean, I mean, no. She, I mean, she going. She's going to make a regular. I thought regular, that. Uh, yeah, she going to make just everything regular. She make bean pies and. <laughs> 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 
just to have a table full of bootleg DVDs. <laughs> Muslim dinner is just bean pies and baby turtles. <laughs> Yo, the turtles is a deep cut, nigga. Oils, turtles, DVDs, pies. That's actually fire. If you go there without a bow tie, you can't get in. You ever wore a bow tie before? No. Hell yeah. yeah. You wore a bow tie? All the time. I'm going to start wearing bow ties. Just on like I regular went, shit. It's like yo, a t-shirt and a bow tie. I went through a phase where like bow ties were the move. I don't know why. <laughs> what, what year do you think this was? 2013. That's a weird year for like everything. So yeah, that makes sense. 2013, I'm like, what, 16? I don't know. I was probably just wearing regular shit. Damn, a bow tie phase is crazy. Nigga, you was wearing scarves. <laughs> yeah, right, yeah. <laughs> right, yeah. Right, yeah. Around that time, when you was going through your your bow tie phase, I was going through my scarf and boot cuts with shell toe phase. So, nigga, I was all confused. I might have been doing bucket hats at the time. Bucket hats and everyone. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You I could, still, could, I still rock yeah. a bucket. That got that got really big at one point. I think it was a schoolboy cute thing. Yeah, I still yeah. rock a bucket hat. No problem. Hell yeah, same. But no, I, I wasn't wearing it with like a t-shirt, bro. I'm talking about like when I would go out instead of wearing like a dress tie, I would switch it up and try to be snazzy. Do like a do like a bow with uh, like a bow tie with a fucking vest, like kind of matching shit, mm. matching fancy square pocket thing. Yeah. yeah, I mean, sounds like a good outfit to go to court in. <laughs> <laughs> I'm here, right? <laughs> it worked. Yeah. <laughs> but yeah, I'm looking forward to Thanksgiving, man. I'm definitely looking forward to it. Get to spend some time with the family, make a few stops at a few different houses. Yo, you do the grab and go? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, definitely. Yeah. Um, I did that last year. Went to my cousin's house. Went to my cousin's house, got me a good ass plate. How long do y'all let your leftovers last? I don't, I eat my, everything yeah, immediately. It, well, mine might go into the next day. No, I mean, I'm saying, do you let, because I'll, I'll keep some leftovers until Monday, maybe Tuesday, honestly. If it lasts, it lasts, but. Yeah. Depends I'm from, on what I can get away with. Yeah. I'm from a, a family of food not expiring because we either eat it or you just act like it didn't expire. <laughs> so I don't really know what the fuck that question is. Yeah. I like Monday. Like, is there a we should we not be eating Thanksgiving leftovers on Monday? I've been doing that my whole life. Yeah. Also, I started school. That's why I would be in the st- school with my stomach gurgling. Also, yeah. Be sure. Be sure to get some vegetables and fruit throughout this. Um, <laughs> for real, I, I, I gotta look out for the listeners because I know, I know, like you, I know you looking forward to the sides. You can't, you can't sustain off of macaroni and cheese for five days in a row. Yo, that is the wildest, most sacrilegious thing I've heard. In yeah, I'm like, long. watch me try. Yeah, yeah yo, you know how many about. times that's all I've walked away with. <laughs> No, like, I'll get saying, a second. The second tray won't hit the table. Every, right yeah, to the back seat of the yeah. car. I'm out. Everybody no. walking right past that arrangement of honeydew melon and mm-hmm. grapes and little cheese and crackers. The Fuck decoration. All that shit. The decoration. Yeah, the decoration. Feed that to the dog. Ambiance. <laughs> <laughs> no, no. I'm I'm just saying that more so to remind myself because I think last year, last year my stomach was fucked up. I mean, and I, I I'm gonna still eat the food. Yeah, man. But it just just to make the just to make the shits pass a little easier. Yeah, nah, you gotta just, you gotta just soldier through that. You gotta know the next morning you gotta clean the whole bathroom. You guys got a lot of people at the table. Uh, this year I don't think so. Like usually though, you guys used to. No. I'm used to. I'm used to a lot of people. Yeah, so you know what that is like to see people start acting kind of wild, going for it. You, you put a vegetable in, the, in front of the wrong person, bro. It's getting slapped off the table. Yeah, it's gonna. Yeah. I'm like, yeah. I'm gonna go do family shit too. You said you are doing family shit. Yeah, go chill, with my mom, my brothers. I got mad siblings, mad cousins, and shit. So, okay. chill. Oh um, yeah, I'm got a car, so I'm gonna just pick a place to stay there. <laughs> yeah, that's why you gotta find, you gotta find like a nice woman to drive her car around. <laughs> Can you, all right, we we give away a lot of my secrets <laughs> on this podcast, but, but let's just say I'm, I'm working on it. <laughs> <laughs> the plans in motion. The plans are, it's always in motion. Yeah. Um shit, what's been going on with me? This past weekend I got my first facial. Yeah. <laughs> I love that when you looked at me yeah. when you said that because you know I was gonna say something. Cause but, you know, go ahead. I, I, I'm gonna I'm let a, you t- I'm gonna let you tell it. Cause I wanted to know if y'all noticed that um yeah, yeah, all my she got all my blackheads on my cheeks. She did say I'm I have a lot of I have a lot of hypo and hyper pigmentation. Just um, just a lot of dark circles. So I needed uh, your boy got him a good cleanser and a nice hydrogel. 
Nice. So yeah, y'all y'all definitely going to see me looking well moisturized out here because the facial it was definitely a good experience. <laughs> <laughs> Clip it. <laughs> I'm over here trying to be mature and shit. Yo, <laughs> it, was just, it was yeah. too clean of an audio. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Clip it. That's it, man. Sorry. Yeah. Yeah, that is that is going on the dark webs. The facial was a good experience. Um <laughs> You got to be careful cuz you know like some of your followers, you know, <laughs> trying to find out, trying to find out if you fart. Yeah, now yeah. they know you take it. That that is true. Yeah, because a lot of my followers, a lot of my followers are just like real niggas, but some of them is just thighs and thumbs. Yeah. So they dabble. <laughs> but with the facial, what did she do? It was basically just, it was relaxing. The 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 massaging and the extracting the blackheads out of my face. That was the relaxing part. The her telling me for an hour how terrible my skin was, that shit was just mean. At a, after a certain point, I'm like, is this a kink? Am I paying? <laughs> Am I paying to hear that I need to get my shit together? I thought I was doing fine. I, I, I Honestly, I thought water was just doing the job. But she told me otherwise, you need more than just water on your skin. Yeah, so, you you got it. What do you have now? Like, what, what kind of thing? What products do you use now? Um, I got... What the heck? It was just like some oil to foam cleanser. Okay, yeah, you did cleanse, uh, exfoliate. Yeah, yeah, that hydrate, moisturize. You might even need a toner. Yeah, yeah, that's what I'm. Um, yeah, I'm gonna definitely get a toner. I guess. <laughs> no, I'm just, just looking. Yeah, at now myself. we're just going through things like, hmm. You got an exfoliating brush? <laughs> no, no, no. My wife put me onto the exfoliating brush. It's, yeah. um, it looks weird, but this shit works. But the next step, um, so yeah, now I'm like really, really looking forward to getting my face together. The next step is um we gonna work on my feet. The toes is cool. It's more so just the heels. I got some rough ass heels that I need to. And <laughs> <laughs> that's just how men's heels are. I think nah, bro. I don't know. I feel like I've seen some shit. You know how in a Bugs yeah. Bunny cartoon when they run and then they stop abruptly, they put yeah. their feet out and they. <laughs> <laughs> that's what we do, bro. I work with some fled like Fred Flintstone feet, having motherfucker like it's bad. Like you can't tell the difference between the boot and like the callus at the back of their ankle. That's it's crazy. bad, dude. So that's when you say things like that. I go, yeah, I can see. Yeah. Hey, you gonna do the thing with the fish? Yeah. Hmm? You gonna do the thing with the fish? With the I fish? would, yeah. I would do that. But that, that's just hilarious that I'm just picturing these construction workers that need to have on like steel toe boots, <laughs> and they just using their feet because <laughs> it's tougher than a shoe. <laughs> boots are expensive, man. <laughs> Shit's add up. Shit, what's going? What's been up with you? Oh uh, fuck, that's putting me on the spot. I don't, no, things are going well. It's just, it's just happening. Things, <laughs> things are cool. Living my life. I don't know what I could divulge right now. I feel like you want. I feel like you looking for a specific answer. I am. I ain't, <laughs> no, no, gonna, no. I ain't gonna give it to you. <laughs> <laughs> but no, I'm actually cool. Family cool. Bitches be tripping. Bitches do be tripping. Bitches, <laughs> bitches be tripping. They be shopping. If there's one thing a bitch gonna do, she gonna trip. <laughs> she gonna trip. She gonna shop. And me, I'm gonna stick my foot out. <laughs> <laughs> hey, you want to trip? I'm gonna make sure you fall. <laughs> I don't know. I, I I woke up this morning. I was like, "Yo, I'm not gonna ever call a woman a bitch ever again," and I already failed. <laughs> I was like, "It's Monday. We gonna end up not misogynistic by next Sunday." <laughs> Step one: bitch is out of the vocabulary. But they keep shopping. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, I am serious though. Hold me to it, though. Like, I'm really not gonna say that word no more. All right. Um, Unless the song come on. What? You want to talk about Meg? Some you talking about like Since songs? Talking about, um, women, <laughs> women tripping. Yeah. Um, no, yeah. Just, yeah. Well, I guess she didn't do anything. Her boyfriend like bro- they broke up, and now he's like dissing her on the internet. Yeah, yeah. So this past week, um, party, um, which is a just a, kind of a weird name. I feel like yeah. Artisan Fontaine. Artisan Fontaine. Yeah, he released the Meg the Stallion disc. That shit was terrible. It was he just a fun. Hogwarts ass name. Artisan <laughs> <laughs> Fontaine. And it's just I like misogyny and rap, but at least make it good. Right. Like you can't be misogynistic and terrible. And you dissing Megan the style and it's just nobody gonna side with you. I'm just saying, like, who gonna side with you on this? Like the women lover, the men lover. What are you doing? It's like knocking a mac and cheese over at Thanksgiving. 
Everybody was like, what the fuck is wrong with you? I'm lactose intolerant, and I was still going to eat that shit. It's just too well like We don't know this nigga. <laughs> like, I just found out who he was, like, two days ago, maybe yesterday. Nah, but dude, that, that, that song was ass. Oh, what, she dropped the song first? She dropped the song first saying that, um, she dropped the song a few weeks ago saying, like, she caught, she caught her ex cheating, getting hit in the same spot that she was sleeping. That was basically the line she said. Bars. So he responded, but she didn't say a name. And she also dated somebody else after him. Hmm. He was supposed to just let that rock. No, this is time to shine. I don't know. Yeah, niggas need to just learn how to shut up. And I know that's rich coming from somebody on a podcast. <laughs> but it's like. And also, too, it is corny to like this an ex publicly. Yeah. Especially at his age. You just look dumb if you like. So why would you wish somebody stupid for that long? And also, like, you can't do that. When your whole brand was I'm this feminist Like even him parading around the feminist tattoo I didn't even know he had a brand I don't know who this nigga is <laughs> <laughs> But with the whole feminist tattoo I don't trust anybody that goes to her It's kind of like how I don't trust I really don't trust clean comics I don't trust um Anybody that doesn't curse honestly that's Unless you are an old lady And you don't curse Even them they the ones that sh- do that shit the most Yo I worked for a guy who uh he didn't eat meat. He didn't drink or smoke. Like, he was a manager, and, like, we had to spend bad time on this guy. And, like, by maybe the end of working with him for two months, I was like, yo, this guy strangles hookers. Yeah. Like, he needs – that's what he does. Like, we go on these work yeah. trips, and that's what he does. He disappears and kills, like, <laughs> a, in a Cleveland motel room. You can't drink while you serial kill. You got to stay alert so you don't get caught. That's what I was thinking, too. Like, real shit. Like, how the fuck you just go to sleep? <laughs> what type of nigga just go to sleep? But, yeah, th- so that's how I feel about him going this hard to promote – him being a feminist where I feel like anybody that goes that hard to prove that or that they're woke or they're hot and really how ain't shit they are. It's like at least like the rest of us, we own up to it. Yeah, I'm not shit, but I'm still a I'm still a, a I'm not putting out this songs to my ex. Yeah, I am a feminist, though, by the way. I don't know yeah. what that means anymore. Yeah, I, do, I think I'm a feminist. I'm all for equality. Like, I think. Women should like <laughs> no seriously seriously I didn't I think <laughs> I'm all for women stepping up paying the rent taking out trash <laughs> <laughs> I knew that was coming nigga <laughs> Nah man I really do like like it'd be nice like women talk about what and equality but sometimes it would be nice if I'm sleep for them to poke me in the back and try to pull down my pants <laughs> That's a that's an outstanding point. But I I think like we should take women more serious because then like our feelings in turn would get taken seriously. So like if I go to jail, I don't gotta act like I ain't get fucked. I can go out and be like tell my story and be like look, they held me down and people just clap for me <laughs> instead of moving their cups away from mine so they don't get mixed up. <laughs> Niggas in there sucking dick, keep your cup. That's rude. <laughs> Take my feelings seriously. Nah, yo, you might be honest on though. The <laughs> idea that like, yeah, we'll give you equality in every aspect, but like, if I tell you I'm sad, yo, don't call me like a bitch or nothing. Like, really yeah. take that shit into consideration. Yeah. And if I don't want no pussy, just you know, I'm thinking about my parents getting old and shit. Like, the fuck, <laughs> yeah, man. <laughs> I'm a person. Yeah, yeah. I'm not just a uh, just a a dick machine. I hope this message gets out there. Yeah. Uh, I'm not. I'm just. A, I'm not just a wielder of penis. A cocksmith. I'm not a cocksmith. I don't like the word cock. That's it's too white for me. Cock. <laughs> it just sounds like something a cop would say. It's like a police. Yeah. Pull over. Pull your cock out. Yeah, I do. I feel you. Yeah. <laughs> cock does give maga. Yeah, yeah it does. <laughs> yeah. Like yeah, I used to watch white porn growing up because I'm I I didn't want to watch black porn because I'm like I walked into my parents one too many times. So it's just giving so bad need flashbacks. See, you need to see something different. I need to see. I need to see how. I needed to pretend that I was peeping in some a white person's window, and uh, they said cock. I, I lost it. Almost lost a point. <laughs> <laughs> Trauma. <laughs> I do not like the word cock. Mm. It sounds forceful. Like cock mm. don't sound consensual. Dick sound like you got an option. Penis is like anthropological, or like scientific, or like biological. Wee wee is my favorite, <laughs> but the women don't like that. If you say, "Hey, can you touch my wee wee," <laughs> immediately pussy dry. I just gotta hold it in. I act like I don't want to say wee wee. 
No, bro. <laughs> love, yo, the child to me loves saying wee wee. <laughs> like when I'm taking a piss by myself, I'm like, go wee wee, go wee wee. <laughs> Oh, <laughs> we we too immature. <laughs> Yo, man, y'all still get like that super excited feeling every time you see titties. Yeah, of course. Yeah. All right, cool. Just wanna, I, I, that's the feeling I hope never dies. I could forget what people's faces look like, and I'll be fine. But that no, feeling, I hope when I lose, in person, when I lose online, that feeling, yeah, no, of course, nothing online is real. But I'm saying, like, yeah, like you just see titties come out of a bra, and you go. Yeah, like when I lose okay. that feeling, I don't need to be here. That's what I'm yeah. saying. Yeah, right. That's the end of it. Oh yeah. Um, today prayers up to Wayne Brady. <coughs> too. Yeah, I want to send prayers up to him. Before we started, I just saw Wayne Brady was in a car accident earlier, and I don't think he's like hurt or anything. He actually it says he got into a car accident, then ended up getting a uh, getting in a heated argument that turned physical. So like Wayne Brady, somebody hit him, and then he had to fuck him up. Which I love to see because, you know, he just recently came out as pansexual. So those hands are for everybody. So <laughs> it's nice to see um, he's staying like he he's still about that shit. We went. Oh, man. Fact, yeah. We looked it up last time. He from um, he from outside of Atlanta, I think. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So, yeah, you don't really you really do not fuck with um, Atlanta niggas, especially the ones that like are, you know, queer because I'm the ones that be fighting the most their whole life. Or those are the ones that definitely have the hands. Yeah. Like, I like that instead of the video, they plugged in the uh, Dave Chappelle shit. Like, that, that's the video they put for the scene. He's like, fucked up. here, you can clearly see him slapping a prostitute. <laughs> He's banged up and sore the day after the incident. Which incident are we talking about? <laughs> uh, I, I really don't even know how to transition into the next topic. Why? Because you want to say something about him being gay? About Wayne, Wayne yeah. Brady? Yeah. No, 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 no. Because um, um, I do. I'm holding it back. <laughs> <laughs> Why? No, I was gonna talk about um this whole situation. One and and it makes me mad because we did we did want to leave Will Smith out the news. That's what I'm saying. So if you don't want to, <laughs> we could ride that into Diddy. Like you know, what I'm saying you could soft touch that and then fall sure, through. A lot of way. things have written into Diddy. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Somehow these niggas just keep making it back into the news. Um, Will Smith, a former assistant, said that. He walked in on his his exact words. He walked in on Dwayne Martin killing Will shit, <laughs> <laughs> which we don't know if this true or not. Like, but even if it is, it's like he really didn't do nothing wrong. Like, so the no, I feel like it's weird to be talking about. Like, if I walk in on two, uh, you know, grown men handling their business, I'm gonna just walk out the room. Like, why the fuck would I go tell the world? Right, I'm gonna just say ill like a regular person. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> just go find my bible Just read this shit Fuck you gotta tell people about it for They going to have let, let them go by their, <laughs> Let them go by their self. Yeah, Such an invasion of privacy Like I'm Yeah the news story isn't That Will might be gay The news story is that Niggas can't do nothing Once they reach a certain level of fame Yeah because You know They say um I mean, we kind of discussed this before where they say that to make it in Hollywood, you got to do something of these sorts. Where it's like, no, nah, there's plenty of successful men that have made it without doing anything out of their character. Or maybe it's just people in Hollywood that are that are closeted and haven't come out because they either aren't ready to or it's just nobody business. Agreed. I think Will came out the closet when he slapped a man on TV. <laughs> That's like the most soap opera shit. Don't talk about my <laughs> wife. <laughs> and then, and then to like straighten his. Yeah, you walk in on them fucking, and the first thing that comes to my mind is like, "Yo, there's a lot of talent in this room. Like, that's kind of wild. Like, <laughs> it, it is. It is weird to that. like stay in the room long enough to see whose faces. <laughs> like he, he's like, oh, that's Dwayne Martin. Like, if I see, I'm gonna just walk out. I'm like, oh shit, two nondescript individuals. Right. Getting it on. I'm not gonna be like, oh shit, what movie was he in? <laughs> I know them ass cheeks from somewhere. Yo, tinfoil fitted. Yo, that's funny as shit oh, yeah. when you think about it, because it ain't like it's somebody, it ain't like it's like a current actor. 
<laughs> like, and don't get me wrong, I fuck with the Wayne Martin movies, but like, <laughs> it's like, like the walk in that room and just be like, oh shit, that's the nigga from Deliverance from Eva. <laughs> He walked in like, yo, what the fuck was this nigga in? Bro? Yo, what was you in? That's um, that's a whistle face. <laughs> hey, ain't you dude that was in? Never mind, never mind. Your mouthful. I'm, I'm... Yo, yeah. can I tell you guys though? Yeah. Tinfoil fitted. After looking more into this article, because it seems like the major response hasn't come from anyone, with the exception of Jada. Yeah. So now, even in this article, it pretty much lights up with a response saying, you know, we're going to take legal action. We're denying all allegations. It's completely slanderous, but it immediately plugs her book about four times. <laughs> then it goes to the big reference on how it got blown up. Charlemagne brought it up on The Breakfast Club, and he referenced like a certain chapter in her book in regards to people questioning their sexuality for years and if Will Smith's gay and everything else. I'm going to go ahead and say that she put bread in the pocket of dude to just make up the story. Mm. I, that's, I know it's tinfoil fitted. I know it might be going down a rabbit hole, but I could see it. I, I like, mean, yo, these numbers aren't doing good. Let's make them better. Yeah, no, I mean, nothing surprised me about Hollywood. Yeah, I don't really feel, I don't buy that these people are unhappy. I think they just like, they're just like, fuck it. We having problems. We know how to capitalize on things. Let's just capitalize on this, make it seem deeper than it is. But also, dude, when I, when I read about stories and hear about stories like this, I'm like, damn, yo, did I pick the right career choice? It's like, what did I get into? Yeah, I mean, I don't think... That, that's where I feel like that whole conspiracy is like, you gotta do something uh, to get into Hollywood. Is the experience yeah. worth the reward in your mind? What experience? Um, Whatever they would... Uh, like, director walks up to you, you go to shake his hand, he grabs your meat, and he's like, yo, how would you like to have like a mm, third... What is it? Third title? Like, when you're the third yeah. lead? Third lead role in the movie. I... What movie? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. You ever had your dick grabbed by a doctor? Yeah. Yeah, so, I mean, that was for your health. Me not being broke and being successful in my career is also for my health. So, I'm not saying I'm going to let somebody do it, but if we talk in the Marvel Cinematic Universe, <laughs> I'm going to think about it. I'm going to hold up. Can I be black Spider-Man? I'm going to tell everybody. I wouldn't be one of them niggas that's like, no, I worked hard. I'm like, look, this nigga pulled up. He was like, yo, you going to be Spider-Man? <laughs> no, but because I I think about um like Reggie his his first role his first major role was like insecure right and in his scene Reggie Conquest his first spot like on the show was a sex scene with his ass in the air right so to somebody seeing this they probably thinking how the hell did this unknown comedian end up in the show but then when you see his ass out the woke people probably saying yo he did something when really it's just like no he just been grinding for years he just did a great job at the audition and landed the role it's 2023 a pie in the face doesn't get the same laughs as <laughs> butt stuff it's i don't think there's anything wrong with doing that i mean i, I think you should continue to clown him about the shit but i don't mean like there's something wrong with like i don't know man it's comedy you're supposed to do silly shit. I feel like it's weird that people always end up in a dress. That's different. It's like, um, like you're not going to shave my legs. You're not going to get a dress that fit me right. You're going to put me in a dress. That's embarrassing. They don't even try to match a nigga's lip color correctly. <laughs> they just put you in a humiliating dress, heels that ain't really your size, a wig. They don't do my baby hairs, nothing. Niggas just put you in a wig. <laughs> like, make me look good. I, I wouldn't wear a dress just because I don't think there's any dress I would look good in. <laughs> yeah, find something, find something to match my eyes and my and, and my my newly facial skin. Givenchy, I wear that. But if this is just like a Target dress, you're not wearing nothing off the rack. I'm not wearing nothing off the fucking rack. Yeah, it's like, nigga, this is a major production. If I'm gonna be a bitch, I'm gonna be the baddest bitch. <laughs> don't have me looking like no rainbow hoe. <laughs> Shout out to Rainbow. <laughs> Trying, we trying to trick niggas, man. We not trying to get found out that quick. I guess we got we we got to talk about Diddy, but I want to do it in a careful way because there is a victim in this. No matter how funny, yeah. yeah. Also, he could kill us. I was about to say, yo, fam. I want to do all about it in a simple way because he beat the charges, so he's yeah. still free. Like, be cool. He could kill Tupac in Vegas. He could kill us in Jersey. 
Yeah. That Damn. is true. Man. You could kill the biggest rapper on the most lit strip in America. You could definitely kill two comedians in a Brooklyn bar show. <laughs> <laughs> but it is real graphic and hard to read. But it's just thinking about some of the shit that they're alleging he got away with. Like blowing up Kid Cudi's car. That's wild. <laughs> I, that's like a, one of the new ones. I didn't know anything about that shit till like just now. And I feel like that's some really weird, unnecessary mob shit. Um, let me see. He, now I'm trying to figure out where was Kid Cudi at in his career in 2012. Was this when he was still chasing down Kanye in New York? He actually has one of my favorite stories in like Damn, music this, industry. So this is after like 2012. This was after the both of the Man on the Moons. Uh, uh, those were the those were the only ones that were palatable to me. I enjoyed the both of those albums. Really yeah, well. those were the uh, only ones. Like that was that was uh, me in high school. So it was like, sad for no reason. That was me living in Astoria, taking the N train every day, mad sad. Yeah, it's just like oh, I don't know, I don't know why I'm sad, but I am. I don't think I was sad. I think I just needed some coochie. Smoking joints <laughs> today and night, sitting on the tracks was definitely a thing. If he can get away with blowing up. If you could get away with blowing up a successful rapper or a successful Hummer, whatever you, however you want to re- refer to Kid Cudi, if he could get away with blowing up his car, just imagine the other shit he he could get away with. The wild shit too was like the freak offs that he would have. Wait, explain, <laughs> run run that back. What was, was the freak off again? All right, I want to explain this in the most mature way. It say he would have high end hotels where he would hire sex workers. To have, he would hire sex workers to have sex with who he was dating, and then he would masturbate to this. That's just so. A if lot. anyone uses the term "cuck" in the future, I just want you to know that is the exact definition. Like yeah. sitting there watching your chick get plowed out, rubbing one out is being a literal cuck. That that's I don't I don't know what to say about it. I think niggas need to start playing board games again because <laughs> they have a group over, and the first thing you want to do is jerk off. What happened to Monopoly? It's like, nigga, we got Uno cards right here. I, I do get horny when I play Uno, though, so that's not a good one. It, it just gets me frustrated. <laughs> and then I'm like, and then when you play Uno with women, they slam the card down and they titties jump. And I'm like, what are we doing here? <laughs> like, we going to do something or not? Ah, here God we damn, go. Freak off. <laughs> to Whoa. name it, too, like, to do that and then name it. But it's just fucked up because it's like the blow up Kid Cudi card. Just let Kid Cudi join the freak off. I mean, yeah, right? I, I don't see the problem. You're paying people. He would have did it for free. Every time I see this nigga's teeth, I don't trust him. So, like, I feel like I was right this whole... I never trusted Diddy in my life. This this one, I really don't see the... Not to say I don't see the issue in it, where it says he like uh, he got sued by a former chef, where after he would have after he would get done having sex... He would have the chef come bring him food, like while you know they they still all be naked. I remember, I remember that. I don't actually see a problem with that either. I would love, yeah, I would love a like. You love a good sandwich after sex. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Imagine getting it immediately, like after this- a freak off too. Like a freak <laughs> off is a lot of energy being expended, a lot of electrolytes lost in the freak off. So imagine, like you know, you you just get a tray of hoagies. The sandwich already hit. The sandwich already hit good after a shower, or like you know after you go to the bathroom. Imagine the sandwich while you just still the 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 fluids are still dripping. Mm-hmm. That's disgusting. <laughs> Yo, you ever like pussy wasn't that good after you took somebody out to dinner, so you eat her leftovers. See, <laughs> <laughs> <So you> like. <laughs> Right. Bitch, <laughs> you, don't, you don't deserve these jalapeno mashed potatoes. <laughs> All this work I put in. Right. I, I'm I eating some cheddar goldfish. I looked up a, a, a off name restaurant. I could have took you to Applebee's. Young girls don't go to Applebee's no more. Where are they going? Anywhere but there, honestly. As long as it's like, <laughs> don't, as long as it's not a chain, they don't fuck with chains no more. Yeah. Like women my age and younger do not fuck with chains. I don't know why. Like Man. I w- I would go to Chuck E. Cheese. I thought <laughs> but you wanna know I thought you was gonna say I thought you was gonna say like you ever fuck with a chick and like it's not good, so 
You just spit on her back. <laughs> you do that? Dude? That's disgusting. You spit on her back to make you th- so she think you came. I'ma just <laughs> I don't like to lie during the act. And I think now with our current age, like I, I this is probably like back in your day, you know, yeah. you, you could do that. But now I'll just be like, look, I'm going through a lot right now. I'm going to the kitchen. Don't follow me into the kitchen. I'ma just handle it. Something and then eat her leftovers. But like, look, it's not your fault. <laughs> it is nothing to do with you. Just stay here. Give me 30 minutes in the kitchen. You just fucking up her burger and fries. <laughs> <laughs> it's like smelling my finger. Like, I can't even get this off and it wasn't even worth it. My, my lips still smell like this for no fucking reason. Oh, to shave my mustache. No, but definitely prayers up to her, man. Prayers up to Cassie. Yeah, I, I'm. I'm glad we kind of got off of that for a second and just because that would that that I, that shit is like very tense. No, that shit is really heavy. And people are also saying like, why did she? Why did she go the civil route instead of following the criminal route? I when when in actuality, it's a lot easier to prove guilt in a civil case than it is in the the criminal. It's kind of the same way with OJ. <laughs> Damn, Diddy, why'd you give us so so much heavy shit that they have to talk about? <laughs> you couldn't have given us something happier? Yeah, like, why couldn't he just get his, like, chest shat on like a regular <laughs> rich nigga? Yeah, I really actually, now, I'm looking back on it, and I think about making the band. Like, mm-hmm. we really don't know what they didn't show that they had to go through. Like, yeah, with making the band, like, it showed them, one, it was fucked up, them just having to walk to Brooklyn to get cheesecake. <laughs> get All these trains around. <laughs> it was, that that would have been a half hour trip to get from Times Square to downtown Brooklyn. Yeah, to make them walk through the night, and then the cheesecake is all fucked up because while they walking, you got them having to learn songs and stuff like that. They should have they, they should have peed on that cheese. Matter of fact, he probably would have liked that. Yeah, that's why he had them walk so he could sniff their feet when they got back. <laughs> a clean foot don't hit the same. <laughs> Freak nigga, man. It's a big head freak nigga. <laughs> this nigga's a Batman villain. Yo, dead yeah. ass though. He, that's what I said. Him putting on the Joker makeup and then him doing the Batman thing. I'm like, in my mind, I really thinks he he thinks he is that way. Like, I think he thinks he's Bruce Wayne. Except like doesn't help nobody. Where's Where's he from? Who did he? Did he? He's from Harlem. Yeah, he's from Harlem. Yeah. I don't got. Oh, that's, I mean, I usually, I usually fuck with Harlem niggas, so I don't got nothing bad to say about that. But I mean, because you ain't hang around them long enough to steal out your pocket. Well, I mean, I be up there, so I don't want them niggas looking for me. <laughs> I'm not gonna say nothing bad about somewhere I be. I kind of want to take it off this for a second, cause like I want to go back to Thanksgiving real quick. Do you hungry after <laughs> after hearing about the free calls? <laughs> <laughs> no. Yo, you know, like, you know how people having Friendsgivings now? I've done that before. Yeah, I've done that, but I heard somebody, like, somebody posted online a men's giving. Pause, nigga. What the fuck? (laughs) It was just just niggas making plates. Men's giving? Yeah. Are men's receiving, too? (laughs) Because that's wild. No, that definitely is wild. I wouldn't, I I don't know. I wouldn't even trust that. For me, a men's giving would just be me and my dad having Boston Market. Yeah, Boston like, Market is definitely the move. I know mad people who say they do that and they do Popeyes. Yeah, that's mad. For I've, me. I've done giving. I've done that before, but yeah. I don't want the. I, I'm not trusting the homies. Yeah, cooking anything. It's going to be. It's going to be a bunch of niggas with salmonella fighting <laughs> over the toilet. If you come over, if you come over my house, you can't be hungry and not have no hoes. You gotta pick one. <laughs> You gotta either come through hungry, I'll feed you, or you gotta come through with a chick. You wanna come to my house and just try to eat. Yo, I don't trust male chefs. I'll keep it a buck. I don't trust like men making my food. I don't know why. I trust male chefs. I don't trust this new era of male chefs. Have you seen the new um these these the new freaky chefs? Yeah, I know exactly what you're talking about. The niggas that are like Like they they'll they'll undress the skin of some salmon like they taking drawers off. <laughs> yeah, they finger it. Bro. No, it's disgusting. Bro. That I feel like if you have that level of horny in you, you need to be arrested. Women included. I think both sides should be locked up. That's because, animal necrophilia. Because as a chef, how do you even as a chef, why are you trying to get sexy with the salmon? 
I don't I don't like that shit at all. Just like I don't like the dude, the chef that they refer to as Salt Bay. Yeah. It's like what the fuck is the point of you wearing gloves if you dripping the salt down your elbow? <laughs> I know what I know. <laughs> niggas don't wash their hands. I know he's not washing his elbows. You know he had a uh, restaurant in New York. And it was like rated the worst restaurant like in the entire city, and then it closed down. I'm sure any any time somebody does something for the gram, I know it's terrible, terrible. But yeah, the sexy chefs, um, they do that. They be giving massages. I mean, you know those those chefs are for the same women that enjoy the 45 and up to be sex scenes. Right. Uh, yeah, I don't like that shit at all. Just Women should not be allowed to go more than six months without dick. Because <laughs> y'all just get and it's crazy. And it's like, if you can handle it, sure. But it's like, there needs to be like a free dick hotline where it's like, if you're going too long, you work at the DMV, you yelling at niggas for no reason, you watching Tubi movies with a vibrator, call 1-800-LONELY. Yeah, because lonely. it needs to be something... Before you start ordering the nigga to massage your nipples with red velvet waffles. <laughs> <laughs> I'm yeah. st- I'm jealous of how women don't have to be like shamed for when they uh, should be shamed. Yeah. It's like, like it's things like that that they should be shamed for for like ordering the the sexy chefs or ordering the the mas- the masseuse that you see these masseuse that like give them Yeah. The, like naked naked massages. Yeah, yeah, they give them the naked massages. Like if my if my girl orders somebody to give her a naked massage, he got to do me first, just, <laughs> just 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 so I know that he all about business. Just <laughs> <laughs> like you got to, just so I know that you professional. Deep yeah. ass voice talk about turnover. <laughs> That'd be sick. <laughs> Sitting on a washing machine and shit, and at the laundromat. Like if you can't afford. In unit laundry You don't get to Be horny It's like we need therapy <laughs> I ain't never fucked a vegetable In my life There's not a single vegetable And I was like I think I, I, my dick could fit in that <laughs> I've looked at objects And I'm like I, My dick could fit in that But not no fucking no. Produce <laughs> Yo that's the generational gap Because our generation Believed in fucking a pie A pie? Like, yeah bro American pie You know Oh please We don't We're My America's not so American anymore because we don't like pie. We don't watch baseball. So the fucking the pies is just, I think, lost. Now you got to fucking make chicken. <laughs> <laughs> nah, man, this generation's small, I'm though, but. <laughs> yeah. I'm hungry. I bought a McChicken with me if you want it. Don't ask where it's been. <laughs> <laughs> That's some wild shit to just be traveling around with a make chicken. <laughs> like, y'all got this. <laughs> it's still warm, bro. Hold that. <laughs> Man. Yo, it is kind of crazy, though. When you think about, like, the technological advances, like, nowadays, like, the younger kids that are really, like, for what would be, I guess, the dawn of internet porn for our generation, which is, like, the rise of the internet. Mm. Nowadays, these guys got, like, fucking portable robots that blow you and shit. Like, these, yeah, it's it's shot going forward. Yeah, I feel like I feel like I, I went through the Vietnam War sometimes, like with the type of trauma that I got from the internet. Like, yeah, we yeah, were some of the things we yeah. seen on the internet. I could even that's why I couldn't imagine being a teenager or just um I couldn't imagine being a child today. Yeah, it's like how the fuck if I was like how yeah how am I supposed to focus? How am I supposed to focus on geometry where every time I look online it's just I could see whatever I want. And it don't take it only take two seconds for it to be right there. Before Where dial up. Be, yeah, before like you know how hard it was to like see porn with dial up internet? It used to take me an hour to see a nipple. Yo. Damn. I think I might have missed that. And it and it just be and then for that nipple to even not even just change positions, just for that nipple to move, it would take another two hours. Yeah. <laughs> I had dial up, but this is back when I had a wee wee. I ain't have a dick yet, <laughs> so I wouldn't even think about that type of shit. I think about that though. Like the kids are in school, you got your phone constantly. Your teacher's got a BBL. Like, yeah. have to change. It's it, oh, yeah, it's it, kind it, of a wrap. It rap. really is insane. It's like in in twenty years, men are not gonna be able to come no more because <laughs> everything is just gonna be too freaky. And it's like, no. how you gonna get a fucking uh, elephant? No, the the level of freaky's definitely have moved up. 
because we've normalized a lot so quickly. Even even when um this is when I knew shit was getting normalized quick. When Omarion and them came out with post to be and they normalized eating ass. Yo, when, that's when she was like, gotta eat the booties like groceries. Oh, oh, Yo, okay, I swear yeah, to God, that was the exact word that verbatim that was the exact reference yeah, I was about to make. I remember before, it exactly. Yeah, yeah, before then it was a stigma. Even like just it was a stigma towards just performing an oral act on a woman. Even that was like taboo. You Jamaican, it, so it still kind of is. <laughs> <laughs> right? Yeah, I'm 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 breaking I'm breaking stereotypes every time I do this. Every time I do this, my my grandpa is just disappointed. <laughs> <laughs> he just <laughs> he's like, I didn't I didn't move to America so you could do this. <laughs> <laughs> I think I'm done eating, but I think I think I, I think I'm retired. What? Eh, just, you know, that's an outrageous thing to say to me. That's I another think, blasphemous. I think, I, I think, think I'm done like, eating Whoa. butts. I don't think I'm eating butt no more. No, I'm like, um, <laughs> I'm like, what's that show? Cow and chicken. <laughs> yeah. There was some more butt on my table. <laughs> yeah, hey, eating there is never going out of style over here. That's what I'm saying, bro. You kidding me? <laughs> like the idea of not going down and not eating, that's fucking wild, bro. Nah, I think I'm done. But yeah, like that 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 has definitely got normalized quick. So it's like I can't even imagine with <laughs> this next generation of kids coming up on like sexy red soon. Yeah. Soon eating male ass is gonna be normalized. At this point I really think it is though. It is. Like it there's is. no more stigma behind that. <laughs> I get you get ass nowadays. No. Like people like, you want me to I'm like No, <laughs> It probably is normalized, but you gotta, <laughs> but you gotta kind of like throw it out there, like in a way around the homies, like to see if they cool with it first. <laughs> <laughs> you guys, you guys get your ass eaten. They were like, "What?" Like, nah, me either, bro. It's fucking gross. Yeah, yeah. I don't think it's something I would ever admit to. I would actually try to play it off. Like, if if you wanted a girl to do it, here's what you do: you pretend that your leg is cramping, and you're like, "Oh shit, put my leg up in there. It's cramping." And then while you're down there, you know, <laughs> <laughs> while my leg is up here, give me a banana <laughs> so I can eat it. And then I don't want to have you with nothing to eat. <laughs> yeah. We are not as smart as we think we are. <laughs> no, nah, man, I think that I think that was a great point that you honed in on. I think that it's true that because of. The rate of freakiness that we find like socially acceptable now. But like this, I was gonna ask you this. Do you think just like with comedy, how it went from being like you can't make any type of extremely offensive joke and now the pendulum's coming back mm-hmm. and it seems like now that, that version do you think with the way that people are going sexually, do you think that there's gonna be a peak point where it goes back to like the naughtiest thing you could do is show a little ankle? I could be on board with that for sure. To where we go so far that now it's sexy to cover up, and then it just recites like, yeah, exactly. like it'll be it'll be sexy to wear like a fucking uh, yeah. uh, like a trench coat, but not like a trench coat with nothing underneath, like a trench coat with a full fucking outfit under it. That's gonna be sexy again, and then they gonna just slowly just like look it's an ankle. Yeah, you that's what I'm asking. Do you think that it would it would go that way? Uh, I don't see why not, especially you know because the world's gonna end soon anyway, so that's society's good, gonna reset. I wouldn't want to live in that kind of world anyway, though. Yeah, I mean, that's I don't think we're gonna have a choice. We're gonna get in the nuclear blast zone. So oh, that's perfect. I don't want to, dogs. If ankles go to be sexy, I don't want to live in that kind of world. Hey, yeah. You don't like ankles? I don't like feet, but I fuck with some ankles. I like a skin knee and let me know that you was outside playing uh, and having fun. Uh, in, in Philly, in Philly, like being around Philly, like you know, it's a big Muslim population. Shit, showing too much ankle that might get you in trouble. Like, bitch, what you doing out here with all this wrist out? <laughs> <laughs> Yo, man, like I said, so me and you had this conversation yesterday just off air, like, the whole Meek thing, you were saying it's kind of hard to have to defend him at times. Mm-hmm. Like I, said, I personally want to know who does his PR for, like, Twitter, because he be writing the most ignorant, crazy, and I'm like, yo, Dose, you don't even speak this way, so I don't understand how you write this but way. But he can get out of jail, but he can't, like, but I, I do appreciate that authenticness. To know that it is no PR there. <laughs> <laughs> like, oh, this nigga really just winging it and just happened to make it this way. Yo, somebody wrote him like a like an analyzed thesis on maybe the way that he acts, mm-hmm. and they used whatever terminology they they were like, "Oh, do you do I don't remember, do you dissociate or whatever?" Oh no, they was he was like, like yeah, yeah. It, "We don't use those words yeah, in the trap." Yeah, he was like, "Yeah, are you neurodivergent?" Oh yeah, there you go. That's he what he was, was like, it. "Yeah, 
We don't use that word in the trenches. What that mean? <laughs> like, bro, come on. But it's like, how the fuck did he he could get out of jail when he basically clearly did this shit? I mean, I saw the documentary. It was like he was set up, but it's like I'm only on his side because he a nigga. But I know he did this shit. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, but like, you can't keep a, po- a tweet in the drafts, but you can get out of jail. Like, I mean, but there's something about being behind bars that turns you into a Harvard student. That's what I'm trying to figure out what just yeah. happened here. Like, bro, when yeah. you speak, you can articulate yeah. very poignantly. Like, I've seen you speak at these big things for jail reform and all this other shit. You be with Robert Kraft and all these big rich white dudes. But and then you send tweets like that. But it's like, I'm out. I don't got to be smart no more. <laughs> so, so that's, that's probably what it is. Yeah, like, if I get locked up, I'm going to definitely be Muslim. But the first thing I get when I get out is a sausage pizza. <laughs> it's the first thing I'm going to eat. Sausage pizza and a white bitch. Ah, uh, white woman, I'm sorry. Who do you think gonna bring the pizza? <laughs> Who do you think picking me up from jail? My white queen. <laughs> it's gonna be I'm gonna need a car. <laughs> I'm not even gonna let me drive that car. <laughs> Niggas that love white women stick together like nobody else, bro. I swear to God, it's hilarious. It's like, if you ever been out with a white girl, and other niggas that like white girls see you as like an embassy. Like, if there's too many black women on the street, because some niggas like get nervous. Not me, I'm like, look at me in all my white glory. <laughs> <laughs> but but it's, like, like, it's like, if, if, if they're in trouble, if they're in trouble, they run to you like, like it's a safe spot. <laughs> yeah. like, like, yo, can I come with y'all to Starbucks? I just need a little ride. I need an escort to... Jamba Juice. <laughs> no, but I was I was wild. I, mean, I would have like I would like go to ask uh, just the uh, the most militant looking black woman like you take a picture of us. <laughs> I'm like I'll go fuck. There's no shame. Loving. I, so that goes to a uh, Neanderthal. <laughs> <laughs> now, so that goes to my question then. When that catches the apple of the eye, what is this? Because me, I'm drawn to like. Things that tend to only really come from like Caribbean, South American, down South kind of like features. Lips, mm-hmm. like you know what I'm saying? Lips, tips, but I think in that order, yeah. Yeah. Eyes. I'm just, this is like a free car. You know? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm over here really deep in my bad. Yeah. Yeah. No, I mean, I, I'm like, totally on board with you. That. Like, I'm totally, like, I'm fucking sober now, but. It's like how you go to a lesser school for because you get a scholarship. <laughs> it's like I could go to Harvard, but I can't afford it. So I'm gonna go to Temple for like two years, full ride. I'm gonna go to, I'm gonna do community for a little bit, but as soon as I get my shit together, I'm never looking back. That's how you gotta do it, man. This is mean. <laughs> this is fucking mean. Nah, man, I'm really like interested in this though, just from like the other perspective. Because you just like you were saying, you were like, uh, I like it. I I I dabble in in a uh, in a impoverished European, but shout out to the Oxycon whites. <laughs> yeah, I fucks with the Oxycon whites. I fucks with the opiate um the opiate white women, but nah, you can't say the N word around me. I mean, I knew I knew like you know fucking. We all like Chief Keef, but <laughs> don't say that shit. I mean, I ain't gonna tell you if you don't ask. <laughs> but we gonna be outside. <laughs> we gonna get some Jamaican food, whatever. I'll take a white girl to a fucking funeral <laughs> of a nigga that got killed by the police. <laughs> like fuck it, let's <laughs> let's spark some tensions. <laughs> Yo, you want to get into the movie? I think that I think if we can get off of this topic, <laughs> right, yeah. that's All right, ideal. Yeah. All right, we're getting to the movie. All right, so this week, back with another one, the Tubi movie of the week. Um, this week, we watched one more flip. And actually, before we get into this movie, we actually watched another movie. We watched Son of a Snake. And I'm only mentioning that movie to make sure y'all don't watch that. That movie was terrible. And we had to go back in And I just wanted to let y'all know that Every movie we watch It isn't going to be good We actually do come across some bad ones time to time And Son of a Snake This shit I checked out after a half hour into that movie Because the audio Now we watch movies where the audio was terrible The Neighborhood Dope Man The Neighborhood Dope Man But at least you could at least hear it And it was like It was, it was, it was interesting bit. It was funny yeah, that son of a snake shit. 
<laughs> bro, that movie pissed me off. Anyone listening who actually does want to check out how bad it is, it's at 29 minutes exactly into the movie. Mm-hmm. And not only does the plot drop out, but it's not as if the microphone stopped working. Mm-hmm. No, the microphone immediately just starts picking up the highway <laughs> traffic behind them. Right. So it seems like someone's fucking with you. I had to stop and like rewind a couple. I was smacked while I was watching. I was like, am I missing something? Like, why is it? Because you can hear. Yeah. And yeah, instead of and then it comes back to me. He's like, that's what happened with my dad. Like, yeah, yeah. yeah it but, sounded um, underwater for a whole hour and a half. But yeah, this um, dude, what happens? Um, this one, one more flip. This was a good movie, man. It's about a drug deal that goes wrong. Landon DeMarco in jail And once DeMarco goes, Gets locked up He turns to his girlfriend And then he tells her Like look I need you to handle my work Cause you know He locked up He wanna make sure Bill's still getting paid But he did put a lot On her plate Cause in the movie He told her He was like look I need you to put A thousand dollars a week On my books It's like god damn Nigga how, how, much, how many noodles Is you gonna eat in there You're probably just paying Like people to You know stay, Stick around him Stay off his ass yeah, but what it, what attracted me to this movie was once I saw the cast. You got Mina Monroe. You know monster. what I'm saying? She yeah, a, a BBL favorite right there. That it, if you seen the Dirty D, you know what we talking about. Yeah, she um leading lady from that, and also Detroit Choice Award nominee. Oh, she was a Detroit Choice Award nominee, yeah. right? Yeah, it was yeah, her. Was, yeah, it was Crystal Doll and Makiva. Oh, oh, it was up to them three, right? And yeah. then Crystal Doll one, right? Yeah. Um, who else is in this side of baby? Privilege. That's <laughs> all that is. Side. Actually, Christopher, though, I, I'll never slander her. Side of baby's in here. Camille Hassan. Royce the five nine. Yeah, Royce. Royce the five nine made an appearance. I think that might have actually been his his mm-hmm. studio. Yeah, yeah. So, and this was the first Detroit movie I saw that actually switched cities. Mm-hmm. They made a they made a little appearance in Baltimore, so they spent some money on this one. That yeah, was my biggest thing, just because like everyone that you just noticed, but like the one person who sticks out for me is a uh, Tristan Fazekas, mm-hmm. and anyone who knows, he's been in pretty much every movie that everyone else that has been. He's the long, he's a light skinned dude with the braids. He's actually behind the Detroit Project. I think he may be one of the people who's majorly sponsoring all these films, like getting produced. Oh wow! Yeah, so I'm thinking that I don't know. I'm not sure if he got the producer credit in, but if everything he's in, he never plays like the. Uh, like the first name on the on the bill, mm. so I think that's cool. If he's really doing this on some like Quentin Tarantino shit, where he's just kind of subliminally putting himself into it, I shout out to him. Yeah. I wouldn't mind a Quentin Tarantino in this Hoobie movie. Right? Yeah, it needs to be more feet in these movies anyway. <laughs> Ain't no feet in these for real. I would love to see a, a, a nice Detroit foot. Yeah, <laughs> there's just been. <laughs> they also need good white actors. But um no this was this was actually the first one that like with a white actor actually like kept me the white t- the white actor in this movie might have actually kept me more entertained than the black actors. Yeah, and I think the reason for that is because she was actually not a villain in this movie. Mm-hmm. Usually when they get a black a white villain, I don't even know. I think they just I think what they want is for the audience to hate the white person, so they pick the actor that they disgusted them the yeah. most in the auditions. In this movie, the White actor was actually like the comedic relief. She, man, she, she was. I mean, great. y'all thought that was funny. I she thought she there, was funny. She was in there beating up black people, talking shit. I mean, getting pregnant, <laughs> polluting the world with more white babies. Actually, it was half black. Yeah, it was biracial babies. It was biracial. Babies. It was a Jalen in there, so yeah, we good. I have a timestamp for her that I I need to ask your opinion on. Okay, you can give me forty four minutes thirty seven seconds. So she's pregnant. And she is speaking to the main character in regards to, you know, the poor choices that she's made and the possible health of her upcoming baby. All right, can we pause it right there? Because that's very important. Because she's about seven months pregnant in the club <laughs> fighting. So I just want to say that it's not like it was uncalled for for that to be said. But God, God, No, that's the time to fight because motherfuckers won't really hit you because, I mean, no. if, they, if they do, <laughs> that's if not they the do, like, you know, well, they're, they're wrong. So, uh, I mean, I've never been pregnant before, but I feel like if I was pregnant, I would just, I'd be like, come on, don't hit me, I'm pregnant. And then just <laughs> bite some my ear off. Right. Hey, that's so what I was trying to figure out. If that was like, the, if the context that she phrased it in was like, I'm was offended. that bad or was that actual proper context? You have to watch it. I mean, okay, like, yeah. <laughs> All right. I just to like, know. Like, she, like, yeah. like, they try to twist it. Yo, your son almost burned down the drapes. Yo, but, but what if he, like. <laughs> yeah, it's the way she said it, though. That's so I was like, wait a minute, wait, is this offensive or. All right, no, it's pretty progressive for a white woman in a cheetah print shirt <laughs> or a leopard, whatever the fuck that is. 
She got hoop earrings on. She already got a black baby. <laughs> it's hard, it's hard enough for a white woman to live with a black baby. I may, imagine a black baby that can't process numbers. <laughs> her family is done with her. That was actually her storyline in the thing when they give her her background. She was like, she yeah. was a rich white girl, and then she met a black dude and had a baby. Her parents kicked her right out. Mm. Like, yeah, all right, <laughs> that seems. Uh. It depends on. I feel like I understand if, depending on where the black dude is from. Cause it's like, why are you not fucking athletes? You're a rich <laughs> white girl. <laughs> Make the family look proud. Fucking drug dealers. <laughs> no, this was the one that made me laugh in here was when Michael goes to court. I just love that. <laughs> <laughs> random, <laughs> random nigga screaming out, hell yeah, free my nigga Marco. <laughs> I just I want all the young people out there to know people my age, people younger, even older people. If you in court and a nigga say free you you are going You are doing life You going to jail <laughs> I ain't never Bro I ain't never See somebody say free you And they come home <laughs> <laughs> They just appealing to Positive thinking at that point Because they know the justice system Ain't going to look out for you They trying to manifest it Also what When when you go to court Wear a shirt And a <laughs> collar It's like do niggas want to go home Or not <laughs> I'm serious, man. We don't need more black people locked up. Don't go to the court with acid wash jeans on thinking you're going to get off. <laughs> you, you, which one of y'all brought up the whole glasses making you oh, a yeah. superhero? Yeah, <laughs> bro. Niggas go to court with glasses on. They think they Clark Kent. <laughs> Yo. <laughs> and they be reading the documents. like it, it ain't no prescription in them glasses. We know you went to H&M before this shit. I swear. I'm telling you, because... Take care. He he really was one of the first people to do that. Whereas, like you doing the race and take care for him to have the nerve to put on the reading glasses, nigga. You are sixteen. <laughs> we know your eyesight is fine. Those are new eyes. <laughs> uh, I'm gonna wear glasses to court. Oh yeah. Well, <laughs> I hope you can see this. Fifty five years. You do. <laughs> <laughs> you also gotta think if you're like a artist. You gotta think about your name. Like if you really. If you really think there's a chance you might go to jail, don't name yourself after a gun. Don't know, like, yeah. It's like, it's like, come on. I love down for my niggas, but see murder? <laughs> <laughs> you think the judge going to think, oh, uh, he ain't do it. Uh, we, we need to be careful what cities we go to. Yeah, yeah so right. we only talking about niggas that's already away. <laughs> away so, like. And, man, we hope you come home soon. We actually looked it up if, uh. You behave 27 and a half. That ain't a bad, you know what I'm saying? Compared take to 50, yeah, yeah, take care. Take yeah, if he, um, if he just, if he, if everything goes smooth and on good behavior, he'll get out 2047. Damn. I do it, like, when I saw Sada Baby was in this movie, I thought he was just going to be playing a character. I didn't know he was going to be playing himself. I think in the last one, he actually just had a legit acting role. Right. I mean, I thought this was, like, uh, not too, uh, like, Forced use of an actual celebrity. Yeah. That's pretty. That's pretty cool. For her to get into a fight, saying, "Damn, they got the nerve to call me fat white trash," but then you complain <laughs> about you ain't have a drink in six months, so you want to take one while you seven months pregnant. <laughs> <laughs> then I'm you saying. wonder. Then you wonder why your first son burnt down the drapes. <laughs> <laughs> it's because you won't chill out during the pregnancy, man. Nigga, dizzy and drunk. <laughs> Eternally But yeah This one What you think about this movie? Uh, I think We're doing this out of five I think out of five I would give this a Two and a half gunshots I round, I rounded around there It wasn't my favorite to be movie But it's palatable Oh no nah, Yeah I definitely went three shots yeah. on this I wanted to say three But it was The production value was great mm-hmm. the, the I feel like the execution Wasn't great I think that the execution was great. I think that the acting for what it was was good because the uh, second best friend, Lily, mm-hmm. I felt that her character deserved to get beaten as many times as she did throughout the entire movie. <laughs> God damn. Bro, she was robbing people. She was. She was, she, was, she, was, she was like, what happened? Did someone assault you? She was like, yeah, I did get assaulted. She was like, oh, well, did he randomly just attack you? She was like, 
nah, I was in this wallet. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> and then after getting hospitalized to that, the next one, she's like, what happened? She was like, I was in his wallet too. You know, right. it, yeah. he called me. Like, yeah, throughout this movie, yeah, she was a terrible person and was yeah. acting like, Yo, that's so <laughs> yo, that's so real. Yo, like yo, I like I'm all for like you know man. I'm um we're all for protecting women by all means. Yeah, we we stand against abuse against these like Anytime, stand, yeah. yeah we stand, we stand against all types of abuse. But even though we do some ourselves, <laughs> but, mostly emotional. <laughs> but. If you work at if I work at the dollar store and you go on, and you go on my wallet while I'm asleep, I'm fucking you up. <laughs> <laughs> if, there, if there was ever a time, if there was ever a time to fuck somebody up, bitch, I'm making seven twenty five. <laughs> like you know how hard it is. I gotta like I'm I'm in there, I'm in here struggling. I'm in here struggling at at the dollar store. And then you want to take my hard earned money? It, I'm, I live in Detroit. <laughs> yeah, so I thought her rationalizing it was great. She was like, "He works in a dollar store. He, he needed that money to survive." Right. <laughs> like, he works in a dollar store in Detroit. <laughs> yes, he fucked you up. <laughs> what don't you understand about that? And that's uh, what irked me about her character. I, I, she doubled yeah. down throughout the entire movie. I'll take it back. It. This was a great movie. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> this, this was this was a great lesson. We'll give I'll give it the the other extra the other, the other half. half star. Yeah, we're gonna go three go three, three shots on this. I don't like to make judgments about whether or not like anybody's a good person. Like if you work at a dollar store, yeah, that's cool. That's cool. But if you work at a dollar store and you be at the club, I mean your you're priorities. Bad, you're bad I mean, your person. priorities. You beat up women, you work at the yeah. dollar store, and you spend all your dollar store yeah. money at the club. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> this is a very uh, bad, made-up person. You know what it is? I wanted to go actually higher with my rating, but yeah. I knew that it was it was just bias coming off of Son of a Snake. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You got to... you gotta Because if this if we had just watched, like, uh, something with McKeever in it, then we... Yeah. Or, like, uh, you know, a fucking DeMars Harvey classic, then we would have... Three is good for this. Yeah, three is up. But like I said, coming off that, I wanted to be like, yo, this is a four. This is four shots because the sound all makes sense. You know, they use yeah. transition in scenes. You know, some of these characters really have background plots and shit. Like, no, I, I agree. Yeah. Like, the production value was good. Storyline made sense. There was like a moral, I guess. Mm -hmm. Hey, don't sell drugs. It seems, it's the same moral every time. Yeah, don't sell drugs. And if you do, and, and basically, to the spoiler alert, so basically the, the, Girlfriend, she does end up going away to jail. Like when Demarco comes home, he ends up snitching on her. Are we gonna spoil the movie for the people? Just because I understand his snitching. Like, uh, okay, I I don't have no problem snitching as a civilian, but for him snitching as a criminal, um, his girlfriend she becomes like she starts dating Sada Baby, and if my girl started to date Sada Baby, I would get her locked up too. <laughs> yeah, like when a nigga. <laughs> Honestly, like you don't want to be mentioned in a rap song when a nigga said he fucked your bitch. Like he's like he talking about me. You going to jail? Yeah, it's like don't have me. You want, if you gonna fuck somebody, don't don't fuck the the person that I listen to. Yeah, like fuck Tiger, <laughs> cause I don't I'm not gonna know none of the shit he's he's saying. This nigga really don't like Tiger. <laughs> <laughs> no, but yeah, they yeah. If you want to do it. Cheat on me with somebody that I'm not a fan of. Don't have me listen to his music wearing his jersey. Fuck the baby. <laughs> <laughs> uh, black woman. Contrary to this last hour and a half, we do love y'all. We love you so much that we include you in our sense of humor. I want to go on record by saying I said not a negative thing <laughs> in regards to women, any women of color. The white devil women, yeah, they can go, but um, yeah. he says um, all his negative things off air. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, thank you. Don't throw me under the bus, nigga. Yeah, yeah we should. Um, we gotta protect black women, unless they still out your wallet while you sleep. <laughs> they can go. <laughs> 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 Oh shit! Uh, this was a good one, man. Um, <laughs> anything else before we go? <laughs> I, I thought I had some, and I'm gonna remember it later. 
Hit my DM if you got a car. <laughs> <laughs> Follow us on uh, all social media platforms. The Instagrams will be in the description of the of the episode, like every week. Um, and yeah, man, if you're enjoying the podcast, man, just keep sharing it. Keep sharing it as this thing continues to grow. We definitely appreciate your support. Um, I mean, we we see y'all, uh, and I don't know who's specifically listening, but I mean, it's, it's dope to see we got listeners all over. You know, of course, I expected to have some Philly, New York, Jersey listeners, but to see somebody listening to us in Salt Lake City or or Quebec or just all over the country is, is man, it's definitely appreciated. It's humbling to know that you know somebody, Quebec isn't in the country, huh? Quebec isn't in this country. You say Quebec. It's part of North America. No, no, part you. Yeah. It's part of North America. Yeah. Don't know. Right, well, I'm yeah. a grammar Nazi. So. I was like, don't don't do that, bro. It's, it's North yeah. America. Yeah. No, but yeah, you know, just I mean, yeah, even Mexico. Across, across we appreciate the, yeah, you across like, the world. Yeah. Wherever you listen to that, man. Yeah. So. If you in like China or if you in like Saudi Arabia, risk execution <laughs> to listen to our podcast. <laughs> it's, if you go, you gonna be oppressed either way. <laughs> Relieve, yep. relieve some tension. The goal with that would be to get fans that are on the inside that can give us like the heads up. Yeah. Like, are oh, you guys going to work today? Maybe not today. Maybe you guys record. <laughs> Maybe you guys like, stay home today. Yeah. Like, if somebody, I, I, that's what I want. I want a kid in North Korea <laughs> to risk everything <laughs> to listen to us for an hour talk about Tubi movies. <laughs> Yo. Maybe we, maybe we do a little rescue mission. <laughs> Hey. Start sponsoring kids in sweatshops. I'm yeah. down with that. I do. I, I I'm I'm not gonna say I fuck with the North Korean um, dictator, but I do like his rule of nobody. Ca- you know, he made a rule that nobody else could wear leather jackets. Yeah, yeah. that's dope. Like, yeah, that's dope yeah. shit. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, like look, this is my thing. No dick eating. Dick eating is punishable <laughs> by death. It should dick eating should be punishable by death in America too. But y'all not ready for that conversation. <laughs> <laughs> All right, um, but yeah, it's been a good one, man. Appreciate y'all listening. Keep supporting. I'm Anthony Moore. I'm Asante Morris. And I'm Maxwell. And we out of here.